Anyone who knows me knows that I'm a huge advocate for using email marketing to grow and scale your handmade business. But you may be wondering, why is email marketing so freaking important? Can't I just rely on Etsy's marketing and Etsy SEO to succeed? So today I'm going to talk about why email marketing is so important. And by so important, I mean it is a great reason to build your own website in addition to Etsy. Plus, I want to show you what you're not able to do on Etsy, but could do if you had your own website. Ready? Let's dive in. Bonjour, my name is Deb and I'm the founder of Tizit.co, a membership community for makers and handmade shop owners just like your wonderful, wonderful self. You can learn more about our community Tizit HQ by the link below this video. But for now, let's jump straight into today's conversation, which is what's really possible with email marketing beyond Etsy. Before we start talking about what you can do with email marketing, I want to quickly talk about why it matters so much in the first place, right? Now, this graphic that you can see on the screen here is a pathway to making money in your handmade business. What's often forgotten though, or at least underestimated, is how many people are going to land in your shop or your product listing and not actually turn into customer the first time around, right? The first time they visit your shop, most visitors just get to know you. They might be browsing or looking for ideas. They might want to go and compare other products and other brands. They may be busy or they don't have their credit cards handy. There are a million reasons why it's actually very unlikely that someone will land on your product page and purchase from you the first time they land there, right? And it's to be expected that it wouldn't happen this way, right? You need to build trust. You need to get people to come back many times to your shop and to your listing so that they eventually buy. Because over time they get to know you and you build that trust factor with them. And then once they are customers, you want to turn them into return customers to boost their lifetime value to your shop, right? And because it's much harder to turn a new visitor into a customer versus turning an existing customer into a repeat customer, you absolutely do not want to miss out on this repeat customer opportunity. Email marketing will help you on all fronts. If a person lands on your website or your product listing, we've already discussed that the majority of these people are not going to turn into customers that first time. And what email marketing does here is help to capture a portion of those people so that even though they haven't made a purchase, you can start marketing and promoting and building that trust factor so that they come back to the store eventually to purchase. On Etsy, most of those first time visitors will leave your shop without purchasing and you can't control if they come back and visit again, which is a big missed opportunity. Email marketing is all about putting the right offer in front of the right person at the right time when they're ready to buy. You can keep putting your products in front of people who've showed interest until they buy. This is so much more effective than hoping that all of your traffic will turn into customers and just letting them go back to searching the internet, which is exactly what happens if you don't get them added to your email list. Once they are customers, email marketing is the absolute best way to turn them into repeat buyers. For example, email allows you to keep in contact by sending them special offers to try a product they have never purchased before. You can also send reminder messages like a do you need a refill message at just the right time. Your email messages help each customer feel like they are a special customer, a VIP, and none of this relationship building can happen on Etsy. Email marketing is a must for any handmade business. If you hear anyone say that email marketing doesn't work or that you don't need it, that's a lot of BS. You all know that I do not like using formal messages where I tell you guys like, if you don't do this, your business will you know, collapse. But the one exception to this rule for me has always been email marketing because it is truly the foundation of any marketing system. In general, if you don't have email marketing in your e-commerce business, you're missing an enormous building block. 
email marketing should contribute 30% of your revenue. So it's definitely not something that you should ignore, right? Okay, now that we know why you absolutely need to be doing email marketing and how it makes each of the steps of the customer journey much easier and more effective, let's look at what you can actually accomplish on Etsy versus outside of Etsy. The first thing I want to look at is lead generation. On Etsy, there are ways to try and get someone to sign up for your email list, but it's really cumbersome and inefficient and you're essentially hacking to make it work, right? Etsy does not let you grab email addresses. Like there's no way to have a sign up form on your shop or on your listing where people can just kind of directly enter their email address and then get added to your email list. This is because Etsy doesn't want you to get that data. <laughs> it's their data and that's how they make money and that's how they stay in control of the marketing that they send to Etsy buyers and how they bring them back to Etsy, but not necessarily to your store, right? So now even though Etsy doesn't really want you to do it, there are ways that you can collect emails in a way that respects obviously Etsy's terms and conditions, but the process is much more complex and to be very honest, that results in a really low opt-in rate. Here is what it looks like, right? You can put text in your shop banner graphic, for example, showing a web address that will take them to a landing page outside of Etsy where you have a form for them to enter the email address. You can also have a graphic in the Etsy listing pictures that says, you know, to get 20% off, go to this URL, enter your email, and then I'll send you a code. You can also put a link in your product descriptions or your shop announcements. But here's the problem. None of these links are actually clickable. They're all just images, like fixed images, and the text can't actually be clicked on them. So it's, it's not like there's an actual URL that you can click and boom, you go to a page with the email signup form. So people actually need to remember the signup web address, open a new tab, type the entire address URL, and then tap their email, then receive the discount, and then go back to your store and use it. Whew. <laughs> this is a really, really cumbersome process and it's asking too much to people, which is why we're seeing really low signup rates on Etsy for email uh, subscribers. Now, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't do those things on Etsy, right? You, you still should, but it's just not as efficient or anywhere near as successful as it can be if you're on your own website. So let's look at that and what possibilities you would have on your own website. So the first thing that you're going to be able to do when you have your own website is control the email signup experience. So you can decide what type of form you want to show when, what it looks like, who it shows to, when it shows, and all of that, right? So you can choose from all sorts of forms to entice your website visitors to sign up and to be onto your email list. Let's take a look at your options. A pop-up will pop out like this one here and generally needs to be dismissed before the visitor can continue reading. A flyaway is a little less obtrusive and stays over on the side so people can continue reading like you see in this example here. An embed form is embedded on a specific page or section of your website, for example, on your homepage. This can be used in addition to a pop-up or a flyaway and is a really good option to have on your site for visitors who are looking for an email signup. Finally, there is a full page form that appears and fills the entire window. They are definitely more intrusive, but they also have a very high conversion rate. So they are something that you can consider and at least experiment with. When you have your own website, you can also make sure that it's showing these signup forms at the right time for the right person. So you can, for example, decide that you don't want to just show it, you know, straight away when someone arrives on your website because they haven't really had a time to, you know, get to know your products or your brand yet. And so instead you can choose options like showing it after they've been on your site for say 10 seconds or showing a message saying, don't go yet, here's 10% off for you to use today when they show uh, exit intent and move their cursor to close the tab. Another great tool that you have when you collect email from your own website is called targeting by visitor. For example, you can decide that you want to show a certain coupon to people who have never purchased from you before and show a different one for people who are already customers of yours. Perhaps you want to offer new customers a special incentive for their first purchase or offer past customers a VIP discount for their next order. 
If you're wondering how the heck you can do that, I'll explain in just a second, but it is totally possible to do this kind of really fun stuff with your own website. So all of these additional timing and targeting options mean that you're going to have a much, much, much higher conversion rate, as in from visitors to email subscribers, than if you're then trying to build your email list and grow your email subscribers number on Etsy only. Now that we've looked at how lead generation differs between Etsy and your own website, let's take a look at integration, right? So when you have a shop on Etsy, there is no communication between Etsy and your email service provider. This means that if you use one of the hacks that I mentioned above and some people do sign up for your list, you can send email newsletter to them and set up like a welcome sequence, which is a series of email that someone receives when they first sign up to your list to help those people to get to know your brand. But if one of them turns into a customer and buys you know, something from your Etsy store, it's not going to be updated in your email subscriber service. If someone is in your Etsy store and goes to the cart page, so almost, almost purchases, but doesn't quite, maybe they got distracted or couldn't make up their mind or you know something similar, you can set up um, Etsy to send an email offering them a coupon for that item after 24 hours. But here's the problem. This forces you to use a coupon or a discount, plus the conversion from this email is honestly very low. It's a once-off email that often gets ignored by customers and it's nothing like what can be done with an effective series of emails that you can create and send if this happens on your own website instead. So let's look at that, right? Let's contrast this with what you can do with email marketing uh, when you have your own website. For this example, let's say that you use Shopify for your website and Clavio for your email service provider. Now you will have customer data syncing back and forth between the two, which means that you can really take things up to a new level and boost your sales in a way that you can't when your email service is not connected to your store. So what are those things? What is really possible? Let's look at a few examples. The first scenario is the abandoned checkout situation. Let's say someone started to check out from your store, they enter their email address, but then they get distracted and don't finish and hit the pay button. When they added that email address, they were added to your email list automatically and you can send them an email a few hours later saying, you know, you didn't finish checking out or you left something in your cart. You could even offer a discount after a few days to convert those lost sales into purchases if you wanted to. Next, let's say that you have an existing subscriber who has been on your site looking at a certain product. Shopify will communicate this to Clavio and voila, their email record is updated to show that they were looking at uh, what they were looking at on your website and now you can send that shopper automated emails about that product to encourage them to purchase even after they finish browsing. So if I've signed up for your email list but I haven't bought yet, I've been, you know, looking around on your website, been coming back to your site, been considering what I might, go, you know, buy. You'll know exactly what I've been looking at. So you can send me really targeted, really relevant campaigns to help me cross the, fin fit the finish line essentially and make the purchase. Finally, let's talk about post purchase examples. So emails that you can use to maximize future sales. This is when someone has actually just become a customer. It's only the beginning because remember, we want to turn customers into repeat customers. So you want this experience when they've just purchased to be exciting for them. Even though for you, it feels like the end of the journey because you've made the sale, you want to remember that for them, this is when the excitement is at its peak. They're excited about their purchase and they're waiting for it to come in the mail. They're probably checking their mailbox every day to see if it has arrived. And you want to capitalize on that by making them feel good about the purchase and reassure them that they made a good choice. There are all sorts of messages that you can you know, send them to do that. You can send one to obviously confirm the order, another to tell them that it's been shipped. You can send a really personal founder story to help them connect more with your business and with you. You can send tips on how to use the product when it gets there so they get really excited about using it. And once they get the order, you can wait a little bit and then say, hey, how's it going? Or you can send them special discount for being a customer. You can ask for reviews. 
there is so much that you can do that you simply cannot do on Etsy. These are only a few examples of the different kinds of segmentation that you can do with your own email list. Clavio takes in all of the Shopify collected customer data like average order value, conversions, purchase frequency, specific items bought and more. This means that you can then send campaigns that are very personalized and you're going to get much better results because of that. So if someone has bought from you pretty frequently, for example, you could send them a big thank you and ask if they would post a review. Or if you know one of your customers bought a little girl's dress, when your summer sale comes around, you're not going to send them the same email that you would send if they've been buying boy products because you can assume that they have a little girl in their life, not a little boy. So imagine how much more efficient it will be to send an email with the top three girl items on sale this week versus sending a generic sale email with a bunch of different products for boys and girls you know they are interested in girl stuff so you can send them exactly what they like to shop for and this kind of segmentation just isn't remotely possible on etsy now the final advantage i want to cover today is discounts so etsy basically sucks for this <laughs> if you want to use a discount code as your lead magnet so as your reason for people to sign up for your list uh, you can but you'll be sending the same one to every subscriber and they can use it again and again which is not ideal. But with Clavio and Shopify, you can send what are called dynamic discounts, meaning that the discount is created automatically for each person and it's valid one time. So there's no risk of someone reusing the same discount or sharing it with other people, which is a lot better. Now, I could go on all day about all the ways an email marketing list helps grow your business, but to sum it up, Email marketing is a must. You simply can't grow an email list efficiently with Etsy. And even when you create one using the methods I described, you can do approximately 5% of what's possible when you have your own website. So believe me when I say it's worth it, absolutely worth it. If you want to learn more about what's possible beyond Etsy, I have a playlist that will give you all sorts of ideas of how to grow your handmade shop beyond Etsy, just click the link uh, below my head <laughs> to watch it next. Thank you for being here and until next time, au revoir.